an annual eclipse, the moon's just a little too far to totally block the disk of the sun. So what you actually get is this like ring of fire, a ring of the sun's light peeking out from the disk of the moon. We will not see the complete ring here in Kentucky, Anna, as we're far from the path of annularity, but we aren't totally missing out. But it actually kind of looks like the moon is sort of taking a bite out of the sun, like Pac-Man style. So even if you're not in the, in the path of annularity, it's still absolutely worth your time to check it out. NASA will also live stream the eclipse from start to finish so you can watch from the comfort of your home. We'll log on to NASA TV and see a live broadcast where you'll see all sorts of data and images and video of this event and be able to hear experts talking about the event and learn a little something about it. While we will have to wait until 2039 for the next ring of fire in the sky, the total solar eclipse comes right on its heels in April 2024. That's when we temporarily see the day turn to night. Both celestial events are equally inspiring and with different views. So we have a really unique opportunity in six months to see these, you know, sort of different sides of the same coin. I'm meteorologist Christina San Juan, WHS 11, on your side.